Libra. This will happen in the next 48 hours for May the 29th through May the 30th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for May the 29th through May the 30th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for May the 29th through May the 30th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for May the 29th through May the 30th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Libra, it's time to repent and get your life together, honey. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Libra, these are your cards. Libra, you have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with a parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Libra. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Libra. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Libra. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra, it is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Libra, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or a commitment here. Now, Libra, very well could be some type of good news coming in with maybe work or business, your financial stability, some type of offer here. Libra, you could also tell me that someone is wanting to make it official. Hmm. Libra, you have the four of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Libra, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Clarify the four of wands for Libra. Clarify the four of wands for Libra. Clarify the four of wands. Libra. 
It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a fated event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Well, this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. For Libra, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. For Libra, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. For Libra, it is clarified with the Magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the air element, the fire element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Libra, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician. For Libra, clarify the magician. For Libra, clarify the magician. For Libra, it is clarified with you, Libra, or Taurus, the Empress. The Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Libra, this is you. Clarify the Empress. For Libra, clarify the Empress. For Libra, what about Libra? What about Libra? Clarify the Empress. For Libra, it is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Libra, listen, very well could be getting your wish. Could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. Now, Libra, listen, you can tell me that <clears throat> you may be getting your wish because you may have manifested this abundance in your financial stability here, Libra, or you're trying to manifest nurturing the relationship further <clears throat> and going into a commitment. You may be getting your wish here, Libra. Libra. You have the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo. But you can tell me that you're happy. You want to be happy. You're over the moon. Or something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun. For Libra. Clarify the sun. For Libra, clarify the sun. For Libra, it is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Libra, could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil. For Libra, clarify the devil. For Libra, clarify the devil. For Libra, it is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. 
So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. You know, Libra, you can tell me that you guys are starting a passionate new beginning, going into a legal binding contract here that makes you happy. You feel like you're getting your wish. Libra, you can tell me that... Hmm, I don't know. I don't I don't know if something was illuminated here. We'll find out that is causing this person to jump high here. We'll see. Libra, you have the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Libra, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the five of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the five of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the five of pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Libra, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Now Libra, it very well could be that there was a heated discussion or argument because something was illuminated about a legal binding contract and your coins here. But it just seems like things work out. Libra, you can tell me that you guys had some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama, heated discussion or argument, and it's toxic and you guys broke up. But it seems like, I don't know, something's working out over here. You can tell me that it was illuminated that it was toxic because someone started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. And this drama and competition being in the picture caused some type of breakup. But I see a different ending over here. Okay, Libra, or you guys were like primed to go into some type of commitment and then this happened or this happened and they're jumping how to get you back. Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down for <laughs> Creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Libra, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the ten of pentacles. For Libra, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. For Libra, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. For Libra, it is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Libra, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. <sighs> Libra, there could have been some type of deception or sneakiness dealing with your coins here. Again, someone's trying to make amends. Libra, you can tell me and you guys has already established commitment that there's been some type of deception. But Libra, I want to know because this line here had me stump. This is what I was like giggling to myself about. Because I want to know if you're kind of conflicted with then about ending something with someone because you're so happy and tempted by someone else over here. And you may be sneaking away from some type of already established commitment here. Or someone's trying to cover up a deception by speaking on commitment. Something is something, something. 
something something just ain't right you're gonna have to tell me i'm gonna take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner libra mm. if you're interested in a private reading you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com and it says my heart knows what it wants and it is you my heart knows what it wants and it is you Something, 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 something just ain't right. Well, let's take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Libra. And it says, I know I messed up everything. I know I messed up everything. Yeah, you're going to have to tell me, child. Libra, this will happen in the next 48 hours for May the 29th through May the 30th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.